Good morning, everybody. Another new day is here. It's a little chillier out this morning. It's almost a little cold being out here in a t-shirt now. I think it's eight degrees Celsius or something like that. Let's see. It's like six in the morning right now. Let's see. Eight degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit. 46 Fahrenheit. A little bit of a cooler morning. I've gotten used to these nice hot summer temperatures already. <laughs> Let's get over to the truck. Let's get it warmed up, hooked up. We have a load in Winnipeg that's waiting for us. That's taking us to Park Rapids, Minnesota today, just over the border. Maybe we'll be able to get home again tonight. We'll see. I don't know what the plan is once I'm done that, but one thing at a time. Let's get going. Starting the day off with Tim Hortons. We're back. Good morning, how may I help you? Hi, could I get a extra large coffee with two cream and a sausage farmer's wrap with creamy barbecue instead of Chipotle? Top that up. Beautiful. Might need that today, you never know. She's gotten all blue all ready to go. She's ready to ready to start up and get on with the day. Sure the trailer is going to be one of those roller trailers. Pretty sure. I'm not for certain, but usually if it was a load on a step deck or something, I would have to bring another one there so that there's, a, you know, bring an empty one, pick up a loaded one. But if it's a roller trailer, they often get me to bobtail in and drag the roller trailer out, right? And then I got to bring it back here. So that's, that's why I'm thinking that's what it'll be which is pretty cool then because those are fun to unload just lift it up and unlock the rollers and watch the freight just roll right off the back of the trailer it's usually like trusses or or some kind of building material like that that's really easy to just roll off and that's sort of the only way to unload it you can't really pick it up with i guess you need a really big forklift and a lot of these sites we go to don't have that kind of big equipment so they design it in a way and they load it in a way that uh roll right off. That's pretty convenient. You'll see. It's a lot of fun. It's gonna be a good day. Look at this. Beautiful weather out. It's gonna be a good day. So here's what we're hauling today. Just finished tying it down and tagging it. We're flush on this side. So when I'm meeting traffic, I got nothing hanging over on this side. We are hanging over the back here a little bit. Got flagged here. That's this side. And this side we're not hanging over too much. Just a little. Right? Just a little. Just enough to flag it. But not enough to worry too much about it as I'm going down the road. There we go. We're all set. Ready to rock. A 
We'll get those beacons flashing and get on the road to Park Rapids, Minnesota. Starting to get hot out. Beautiful North Dakota. Nice, freshly paved highway, smooth as glass. Whoever did this highway at Interstate 29 really needs to be hired to do 75 north of the border. To so fire whatever crews they keep getting to do that every six months. Same climate, same region. Both of them follow the Red River, We're right in the Red River Basin. Both of them exactly the same. Get these guys down here, they can build a highway that'll last. I know there's a big uh, issue with money, but don't talk to me about that. Build me a better road. Okay, so we've got it here. All the straps are off, flags are off. Now it's time to unload it. I just do the walk around, make sure that they're all in good condition. And I put the trailer down and we're done. Smooth as butter. Is that the saying? Uh, you know what I mean. I never get these sayings right. <laughs> I used to say, uh, you know, when you uh, when you say you don't want to sugarcoat it. <laughs> I used to thought that the saying was, I don't want to buttercoat it. So I'd always go and say, I don't want to buttercoat it. But <laughs> until someone finally stopped me, is what do you mean buttercoat it? Do you mean sugarcoat it? I'm like, no, 
No, a butter coat. That's the saying. Don't want to butter coat it. Ah, yeah. I never told you I was the smartest guy around. I never said that. But I am the smartest guy in this truck. So we're going right back to the same place again. Right back there, grabbing another one of these and taking it back down here tomorrow. So I'm gonna find a place I can stop and get a coffee around here. And then we're gonna head back home. I'm gonna stop in Grand Forks for some cheap juice, some cheap fuel. I might grab a shower there as well while I'm there. And then we're gonna head back to Winnipeg. I might even sleep in our yard. Let's see, I thought I saw a truck stop around here, like just around the corner. Aha, uh -huh. yes I did. I don't know if I, I don't know if that's a truck stop. Oh yeah, there it is. Yep, 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 yep. It's a Simonson. I think I fueled up there once before. Okay, so it's just down the road. That way. Okay. Let's go there, because I'm just parked just off the property here. They closed their gate already. They're closed. I've made it just in time. Take my work glasses off. I'm not working any, well, not working anymore. Now I'm just work driving. Put my fancy glasses on that I don't want to get scratched. That are dirty. Why are you so dirty? Always so dirty. I have three pairs of glasses and they're all always dirty. Gotta be so careful with these things because I buggered up my other one so bad by cleaning them wrong, scratched them all up. So I'm very careful with these now. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I've got supper heating up here in my little uh, my little oven. Got some New England clam chowder. Yeah, it'll be ready to go in about 20, huh, 15 minutes or so. In the meantime, we're gonna go down the road. And maybe I should go to Walmart. There's a Walmart here. I need to get some supplies and some groceries. I wonder. Let's check to see if there's truck parking first. Uh, yeah, you know what? Maybe I should. Yeah, I think I should quickly run into Walmart and grab some... Uh, I need to get water for my truck. And a few groceries. I think I'm gonna do that right now. Pretty sure I can just turn right into this parking lot right beside us, and this parking lot leads through to the Walmart parking lot. Just got this boat kind of parked in my way, but that's okay. Wish I had a boat. No problem. Look at that. Not a problem, not even close to a problem. Not even a minor problem. See, there's Walmart back there. Ha! Right there. Yeah, I can't turn down the opportunity to go get some groceries then. So close. I'm running on my last case of water and I usually have like eight cases in here. truck parking but I'm gonna find out where I can park. Can I park on the street here? I don't know. I'm gonna go around to the back. Turn left. I mean truckers need groceries too, right? I'm gonna go and 
parked right beside uh, that trailer over there to our right. You'll see it in a second. This whole parking lot is empty, which is good. it again. I'm going to go in and get some groceries, give them some of my money. I'm just going to quickly slap some deodorant on so I don't smell like a dirty old trucker. And then uh, we'll get this done quick. I always forget how much cheaper groceries are in the U.S. than they are in Canada. It just blows me away. So we got our groceries. Uh, we got our fuel now. I fueled right here in Park Rapids at the Simonson. Uh, it's the cheapest one on my route today anyway. And I grabbed a coffee. Now there's no more stops until we get back home. Well, until we get back to uh, our yard. This is a really long red light. Come on now. That was a really excessively long red. sit all by myself this is the Esso Husky in Morris Manitoba this is the end of the road for us today according to the logbook I still got plenty of energy I could keep going that's for sure but uh, somebody in a suit somewhere far away from here has determined that I need to stop and sleep now have a choice. So here we are. And how dare I question the suits that make all the rules. The people in those fancy offices somewhere far, far away on the other side of the country that have never sat in a truck before. They know what's best. Jokes aside, it is pretty silly that people who don't drive trucks make all the rules for people that do drive trucks. But at the same time, I understand why we have these rules in place. Because if we don't, there's going to be those super trucker cowboys that are out there driving four days straight, falling asleep at the wheel, running people off the road, killing families driving into buses, killing whole hockey teams. There's rules in place for a reason. And that's why we listen to them. Not like we have a choice, but that's why, that's why we listen to them. I mean, I, I think that uh, they could be adjusted a little bit, but the Canadian hours of service are already pretty generous compared to the American hours of service. You can get a lot further up here and uh, get a lot more done on a regular day up here than you can down there on the hours of service on both sides of the border. But whatever it is, what it is, it's time to go to bed, according to the government. So I'm going to go to bed. 
Thanks for hanging out with me today, everybody. Tomorrow's gonna be another day going down to Park Rapids. I didn't quite make it back to Winnipeg, so now I gotta wait for the logbook and the government to tell me that I can start moving again. So once they say I got the green light, I'm gonna make my way back to Winnipeg. Load up another one of these loads. I don't know if it's the exact same thing or if it's something different. But, uh, oh, excuse me, I gotta yawn. Oh, maybe I am getting tired. Oh, they do know me better than I know myself. How do you know? You know, grab another one, I'm gonna go back down to Park Rapids. It's actually going to a different location than this last one. It's just, it seems to be just a coincidence that they're both going down to the same town, back to back. But I'm hoping that I'll have enough time to go and grab that freight and get down there before they close at five o'clock so that I can get back up here uh, later tomorrow night. Maybe do uh, one more load on Friday yet. We'll see what happens. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe, everybody. I make new videos all the time. Go check out my playlists on my channel. There's tons and tons of my content out there. You can go through all the playlists year by year. Uh, it's all organized there for you. And if you want to go one step further, of course, you can join and become a member and get early access. Uh, that means that when my videos are uploaded, you get access to them first. Sometimes I have up to a week uploaded in advance. Sometimes it's just a day early. Sometimes I do three at a time. It all depends when I have time to edit and get them uploaded. But as soon as they're uploaded, members get to view them. And uh, everybody else, I, I release it one day at a time so that you get one video. Otherwise, you know, if you're not that big into Trucker Josh vlogs, you don't get completely overwhelmed one day getting seven videos all at once. That's only if you really want it. But other than that, one video a day I think is pretty good because I usually make them around 20 minutes long or so. So uh, that's pretty good for one day. I think we can hang out for that long. And uh, after that, you got other things to do. So do I. So. Take care, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow right here, right? Don't forget to hit that bell. Turn on your notifications so that you don't miss it.